everybody, one of Weezum here, about 5 in the morning, we're here doing some Skylanders Draft Team Villainography. Now, I've got Elite Tariff in here, and uh, in addition to that, I have got Grenade. Now, why is Grenade here in Know-It-All Island? Simply put, I don't know what damage he does with his primary attack. It does not register at the Academy. That said, it looks awesome. I have not checked it out on my own, so you're going to be right here with me. But uh, this is what it looks like. Whoops, that's the secondary, my bad. <laughs> I'm in Nintendo mode. There's the primary attack. Just a big explosion, so I want these guys to detonate. Okay, so they do time out. I didn't actually check that either. But let's get down here and do the primary attack. Good lord, 465? Wow. That is awesome. Um... That is really awesome. So, uh, wow. Just when the great radius on it, too. So, uh, let me get that compiled into the spreadsheet of epicness here. Uh, it's basically a five second delay, but who really cares when he does that much stock? Now, half of 465 would be looking at 232.5. They probably don't round that up, so 232. That would be 697 on the critical side. Wow. So that's that's just crazy. But again, his primary attack, what it looks like, you kind of got, the begin about a five second delay. He just kind of auto tracks, if you will. And you see the radius, you saw the damage numbers. That's way better than I thought it would be. I thought it should be good, but I didn't think it was going to be like that good. So, um, But again, for whatever weird reason, which I know you can't see it there, but he just doesn't register damage here at all. I mean, you can be point-blank range with him. And just you get the big explosion, you can see they're taking damage, but it doesn't register anything. So... That said, the secondary attack, that's what I call, I call the primary self-detonate, and then I call the secondary attack mini-bombs. You can have five of these active, and when you deploy the sixth one, the fifth one will actually detonate itself. Uh, so basically, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, when I drop number six, that previous uh, first one's going to go away. And when we run them through there, you should have seen 63s and I believe 194. So 63 to 94. Now let's get a countdown on how long this lasts. Press the tag button to play as your captured enemy. Then press the tag button again to return to playing as your sky. Uh, roughly 20 seconds, if you care. I mean, you're probably just going to have them run into an enemy prior to that, but if for some reason you clear out an enemy horde and you're progressing and then maybe you encounter another enemy within 15 seconds, you'll still have some time that that guy can detonate. So I'll go ahead and uh, let's see here. 20 second. That's really not important, but I'll go ahead and document it since we took the time to do it. But again, I don't know why those register, and then this epic thing that is 465 doesn't. But uh, he is a very quick character. Uh, if you jump in the air, he can't, you know, start to detonate or anything like that. He can, however, drop some bombs. They spawn on the ground just kind of below him, though. But uh, nonetheless, I mean... You saw his primary attack, his secondary is pretty cool. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with him. He's a fire element villain. Uh, he was chap trapped in chapter 14. And uh, his quest is in chapter 15. So he and Threat Pack capture him in 14, quest in 15. Pretty straightforward. But uh, I'm going to come in and we will actually... Uh, see if we can't come in and uh, just get their quest done while these other videos render and upload and then we'll come back we'll take a look at his evolved aesthetics and see what his attack damage number changes to that said I do not think he could get any better than he looks right now unless they like made the eyes blue or something and the shoes not gold but I mean he's just kinda got like the classic Bob Om look that's cool with me uh, maybe like a gunmetal color or something 
but I'm having a pretty good inclination that I'm going to prefer this aesthetic because I really like it. Could be wrong, we'll hope that I am, but uh, that is Grenade, that is his stock form, and we will come back to continue his villainography research. Hey everybody, I want to wheeze him here. We are in chapter 15, Sky Highlands. We have just recently completed Threat Pack's quest. Now, uh, these gates here, uh, this is kind of, I guess, lower defenses. That was convenient. Uh, there is a turret somewhere in this, right there. Uh, I was Thunderbolt when I hopped in there, and I was just shooting like the puff of air, the cloud looking thing that you do with the air element characters. I tapped while in the turret, I did the uh, left trigger or the right trigger, whichever, and I guess left trigger, and uh, switched over to threat pack. I didn't know one you could do that while you were in a turret, but we went from the puffy clouds of air element character shoot to the homing missiles that Threat Pack shot in his quest in that little turret after the fact. His quest auto-completed, but then you could go in the turret if you wanted to, I guess. This was very cool because that basically slaughters uh, the pirates. <laughs> and uh, apparently I tested it again, and as long as Threat Pack is actually the character in the turret, you have them if he's in the portal. Uh, as the villain, but you're actually playing as a character, i.e. Thunderbolt in this case, it is not applicable. But uh, that's just a little note there for you, since these quests are close together. Um, and I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I remember... Da -da -da, I kind of like that noise he makes, Grenade. I think Grenade's... What was those pirates doing? Is either in here or up in that other portion. Okay, this is it. So that's awesome. We'll grab this cache, and then we'll see what's going on here. Alright. Is that you, Grenade? Boy, I hope so, because you've got the exact kind of boom I'm looking for. Oh. Yep, that's the boom, alright. <laughs> Go ahead and take a little of this stuff for yourself, too. Okay, so here comes a quest. Let's see if we can tell how he changes. Please don't be gold. Oh, that's not horrible. I I won't lie. I prefer like the standard bob bomb, you know, look like is, you know, you see in the left-hand corner, but that's not horrible. I mean, it's kind of like he would get to this point anyway. Basically, he was like that and he was flashing now. Uh, so it auto-completes the quest. Can we do anything else? Doesn't look like it. So... And again, you know, there were no hats or anything else missing in here, so neither quest had it. Um, you know what's bothering me about this? Is those bombs are... <laughs> the minis are actually... You know, default colors are not like the cherry red now. This isn't horrible, you know, so... And if you've got extra fire traps and you really like grenades, you can kind of cycle through, but... His quest was a cakewalk, you just show up and, uh, you... Diggs has you walk into this wall and you blow up a little piece of geode, get some cash, and you're done. So, that's Grenade's quest. And, uh, what we will do, we will head back to the academy after I complete this level. We'll take a look at his appearance there, uh, just in better light. We'll kind of get a feel for that. And then most importantly, though, we'll take a look at his evolved attack damage numbers. Assuming the primary attack still doesn't register, we'll hop into Chapter 2 or some Doom Challenge or something, kind of get a feel for it. But it should be a pretty decent number whatever it is because box stock is epic as is so that said uh, i will catch you back here for the conclusion to grenades of villainography hey everybody want to wheeze me here almost six in the morning now and uh, we're about to wrap up this installment of skyliner trap team villainography that said we've got grenade now you can see his stock aesthetics there in the left hand corner of your screen uh, sort of the typical Mario-esque bob -omb look, if you will. Uh, just very menacing mechanical teeth, black bombshell, he's got the wick fuse, uh, red eyes, he when had gold shoes, <clears throat> and he had kind of like a gold or bronze colored crank on the back. Now the crank and the shoes are silver, which I'm cool with, the eyes are a bright yellow, and he's kind of like a cherry red, if you will. <clears throat> we could call him cherry bombed, I suppose. But uh, I actually don't mind this. Uh, aesthetic change. I think I prefer the stock one, but just ever so slightly. I have 
really no objections to this one. Uh, just, I think, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it like a 7, and I'd give the as-delivered box stock probably like a 10. Um, that said, um, that's the aesthetic change after the quest. Now, there's a bonus deal with him. <clears throat> Whenever he digs has you complete the quest, he just walks up to that like purple geode and blows it up. All those little clusters of purple geode, I think that I mentioned, like, hey, it seems like Prison Break should be able to break these. Grenade can break those. You don't get, like, anything crazy out of the ones I broke, but you get, like, a decent amount of cash. So, uh, that's kind of a perk. It's not like the vertical candy-looking slices, but it's, like, kind of like the Chompy Pod-esque looking pieces. So, uh, that was pretty cool in my opinion. His secondary attack, he can still have the five, um, grenades active, if you will. Uh, they blow up on their own. The damage number 82 to 123. Uh, let me get over here to the spreadsheet again. And I actually did test out his uh, uh, damage output from his primary attack in a level so I know what it is. I'm not going to tell you we're going to go off to chapter 2 for that now. Something I thought would be cool and I thought maybe it would happen when he was evolved is if I go into my explosion now I thought maybe it would daisy chain all the little mini grenades and that is not the case as you can see there. This is what the explosion looks like now. Uh, I'd say if noticeably larger radius in my opinion anyway but uh, what we're gonna do is just hop in here to chapter two and this is really the last thing we have to do for grenade uh, should be a nice short and sweet villainography for you uh, again I know what these numbers are because I saw them in game and they're pretty impressive but uh, I want you to get to see them um... next up know it all island supposedly okay, you yeah. ask I was looking at my spreadsheet my apologies so uh, Thunderbolt leveled up quite a bit in the uh, Sky Highlands as well. So did Echo, as a matter of fact. Uh, that's a pretty good level for uh, air that gun for air characters, in my opinion. All right, so I'm gonna take. We're gonna switch now to grenade and check this out. Six oh five. Let's see if we can get a critical for you. 907, you saw it there, it was the middle number. Uh, we'll see if we can get another one there. But 3605s, that's, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. So, 605 to 907. Tell me that isn't just absolutely nuts. Uh, I feel like we had that number recently, but I'm not seeing it. Anyway, I mean, that's all that matters. It's a crazy, crazy epic. Uh, detonation sequence he's got. So 465 to 697 is now 605967. The uh, little mini grenades, if you will. You can still have five actives. The six detonates the first that you spawned off. Uh, they went from 6394 up to 82 to 123. Uh, they'll last roughly 20 seconds if you're so inclined. I mean, that's kind of up to you. It depends how you like to play. But uh, say that you cleared out some enemies and then you progressed over this bridge and you still had the minis, uh, you'd have a little bit of time where they could then come in and detonate off. So that is Grenade. He is a fire element villain, one of the kind of relatively few fire element villains. Uh, I think he's pretty cool and obviously he does incredible damage and again I actually do not mind his evolved aesthetics here so that is a pleasant surprise as always but uh, he is captured in chapter 14 and then his quest is again in chapter 15 Sky Highlands it's one of those ones you just walk up to digs it automatically takes care of itself and then as a bonus again this is important to note you can blow up those purple geode clusters I think there's a few other places I've seen them uh, so any time I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and try to take care of that. But uh, that's it. This is Grenade. Hopefully it helps you out or you enjoyed the video. If so, leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed to stay up with all the latest in terms of Skylanders Trap Team Villainography. Tell your friends about it if they're into Skylanders. Encourage them to subscribe and do the same thing. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. I live stream Skylanders Trap Team there. It's a blind playthrough, but I'm doing it 
by way of stream, so it's technically like a blind stream. I don't know if anyone's coined that term before, but we're going to run with it. Uh, so if you want to check out the blind stream of Trap Team, Trap Team, be sure to follow me on Twitch. You can also follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+. Plus. My personal site is oneofwisdom.com. Uh, if you're into Skylanders, be sure to check out the Skylander Club forum, skylanderclub.com. Uh, you can take the links at the top of the video description box. You can see this video as well as the uh, attack damage spreadsheet here for Grenade. But uh, for myself and Grenade, thanks for watching. And again, be sure to check out the Skylander Club forum. Uh, Grenade and myself both agree it is the bomb.